If you want to experience an extraordinary life in music, you need to leave the land of the familiar. What got you here is not going to get you there. If you want to achieve greatness, stop asking for permission, especially from a critic. But Afrojack has been talking sh about you. Anything you want to say? Who? Afrojack? Who? That's what I thought. You see, I've never been criticized by an artist with a million plus monthly listeners who's already been successful, but I have been numerous times by artists that have like zero to a hundred monthly listeners, right? Or one of my favorites is those on YouTube that love to post a little comments and troll when they haven't posted a video in over six months to a year, but yet they're making fun of me because they've quit on their dreams. And the reason unsuccessful people criticize us is because they're too scared to do what you want to do so they make fun of you but they've given up you know just because they've given up on their dreams doesn't mean you've given up on yours because you're not a quitter but hard work isn't the only thing that's going to get you ahead I know some artists who continue to practice over and over again but they're doing it the wrong way they're writing in the same style producing the exact same thing never stretching never going over the edge and stretching into greatness if you want to get to the next level in your career you're gonna to have to surround yourself with other people that are better than you you don't want to be the most talented person in the writing room because you don't want to be the one that's always having to lead and pull other people with you you want to be stretched I have a buddy who does a film and cinematography and he says it's so awesome to work with now other A and B level people instead of him always working with C level people and he's carrying all the weight but it's also also stretching him as well too so that he's getting better you know working smarter instead of harder is what you want to do I'll give you one example of when we went on tour and we were doing our own shows and we did 10 shows and we were in front of a hundred people a night and so after 10 shows we're in front of a thousand people instead I got on somebody else's tour that they were in front of a thousand to two thousand people a night and so what took me 10 plus days to do I was able to do in one night so if you want to get to your goals and dreams what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to collapse time frames which means you're gonna to have to get to your goal and your dream faster and when it comes to music I want to show you how to do that whatever noble thing you are going to do for your music career this year do it this month whatever you are gonna work on your music this month and to move it forward do it this week Whatever you're going to do for your music career this week, do it today. And whatever you are planning to do for your music career today, do it now, or at least after this video. But you've got to stop procrastinating and putting off your dreams. Stop waiting for someone to say yes. Stop waiting for someone to approve your dreams or for a label or publisher. I say do it now. Who's that producer that you need to email right now and book that studio session? Do it. What phone call do you need to make to book that show? Phone them. That Instagram DM to that artist that you wanted to ask for the feature that you've been scared to do, DM them right now, or at least after this YouTube video. When it comes to waiting for inspiration to strike versus just putting in the hard work, Stephen Pressfield, who wrote the book, The War of Art, emphasizes the importance of just showing up consistently to do the work, whether you feel inspired or not. He encourages artists, creatives, writers to establish a daily practice and maintain a disciplined approach to their craft. The idea is that by consistently showing up and putting in the effort, you create the conditions for inspiration to arise. I heard that Eminem, he shows up at the studio at 9 a.m. and he leaves at 5 p.m. on the dot every single day. One time he was working with an artist and they were writing a song and at 5 p.m. he just got up and left and the guy was like, what, you're not gonna finish the rhyme? And Eminem was like, no, I know I'm gonna be back in the studio tomorrow to finish it. By making creativity a habit and not relying on fleeting bursts of motivation or inspiration, you increase the likelihood of producing meaningful work. Amateurs practice until they get it right, 
professionals practice until they can't get it wrong. Hey, real quick, I hope you're loving this video. I wanted to tell you about my book, Fighter, Five Keys to Conquering Fear and Reaching Your Dreams. I share about how I quit my job. I went from five days a week to four to three, and then eventually quit to pursue music. I signed a deal, thinking I was gonna be a rock star, went broke, ended up blowing up in Japan, all kinds of crazy stuff happened, but this book will inspire you. Get it on Audible, and I'm speaking, I'm narrating it, or you can get it on Amazon and read it, get the physical copy or the ebook. Let's get back to the video. The music industry is not fair, but it's never been easier to get started. You can sit there and complain, or you can get busy. But let me tell you this, it's not gonna get any easier, but you are gonna get better. I lived in Canada for a long time, and I wanted to move to the USA because there's more opportunities and getting signed and working with different producers and so I moved there you know I changed where I was right but then I got to the USA and then a lot of artists were complaining that they didn't have access to some of the grant money that we have back here in Canada so the grass isn't always greener on the other side but that's why artists have to leverage technology okay social media AI that is going to win in the new creator economy AI isn't going to steal your job, but people using AI will. What do I mean by this? Why would you not use ChatGPT or AI to write better song titles, or at least to come up with a song title just to think about stuff? Like if you wanna write about something, you're like, hey, give me some song titles about this subject. And then AI spits out a whole bunch of ideas and you get there faster. Or give me a lyric about this, make it metaphoric. And again, it spits out a whole bunch of stuff. Sometimes I'll say, hey, give me a word that rhymes with moving, or give me a word that rhymes with audience, right? And it'll spit me out a bunch of ideas and it helps me to get to my goal faster. And that's who's going to win in this new creator economy because success loves speed. Like I said earlier about collapsing time frames, you need to get to your dream and your goal faster and those that do are going to win. I was really against social media for a long time. I loved ads and running Facebook ads, Instagram ads. We spent over a quarter million dollar on ads, right? But why wouldn't you use social media and organic posts to reach millions of fans? We've had one YouTube short just recently reach over 45,000 views and it's bringing me in new fans, new subscribers, they're watching my other videos and it's just bringing in this whole new audience that had never heard of me before. And because it's winning with YouTube short, we're posting it to Facebook Reels, we're posting it to TikTok, we're posting it to Instagram Reels, right? And we're reaching an audience that we never had before, leveraging technology. John Mayer says, I didn't have a plan B because I'm going to make plan A work. Maybe you're thinking about giving up right now, but what if you knew that this is just what it takes to get to your dream, right? What if you knew you just had to endure this pain and go through this because you knew what's on the other side? Have you ever been driving somewhere and you know it's a long drive and you know you haven't reached your destination, but you know where you're going and you know eventually you're gonna get there, so you keep going. Maybe you pause at a coffee shop, you get really filled up again, and then you keep going. So maybe right now with your dream, you don't need to quit. Maybe you can pause, you can pivot, take a shortcut, go somewhere else, maybe get in a different vehicle that gets to your dream faster. Like I always say to someone, you know, I bet you I can beat you in this race, in a 100 meter race, and they're like, okay, and they're gonna run, but I'm gonna be riding on a bicycle right? And so who's going to win? Because I'm in a faster vehicle. Or I could say, hey, I can beat you in this race and they're in a bicycle, but I'm now in a car, right? And so it really depends on what vehicle you are in to get to your music dream. And for a lot of you, you're not leveraging collaborations. You're not leveraging the internet. You're not leveraging these different things to get to your goal faster, okay? And so that's why it's been hard, but I want to encourage you to keep going. I was at church the other day and some guy comes up to me and says, hey, your music really spoke to me and it really encouraged me to keep going when I was struggling with some stuff. And I'm like, oh, wow, what festival was that at? He's like, it was this festival in Portland, Oregon called Tom Fest. And I was like, oh my gosh, I totally remember that because they didn't put me up in a hotel. They put me in this room, which had all these bunk beds and no pillows, no blankets. And I remember it was freezing that night and there was tons of them and other people coming in the room while I'm sleeping but I had to go to my merch table and get two hoodies one for a pillow and one almost as a blanket I felt like giving up so many times but 
I knew that my dream was bigger than my problem. I knew my God was bigger than my problem. And there's a scripture I always hold on to that says Proverbs 24, 16, that says, even though a righteous man falls down seven times, he gets up and goes again. And I want to encourage you to get up and go again. Keep going, you know, pause if you have to, but just don't give up and keep fighting for this dream because it's worth it.